let's look at it first. Why self has become so important? Why me first? And every, many people have tried through meditation, through repetition of certain idiotic words, try to be free of all this self. So why man has given such extraordinary importance to the self? Why you forgive me if I talk to you directly. Why do you give importance to the self? Is it? It's become a habit? Is it that we are encouraged from childhood? Is it that all the religions have maintained that the self exists, but identify that self with something greater? You know all that business. And is it, if one feels that there is no self, there is nothing. And one is afraid of being nothing. So the questioner says, Show me, help me, how to be free of this torture of the Self. It's a torture. It's a battle that's going on, outwardly and inwardly. Self can have no relationship with any with anybody. Self, in its very nature, is an isolating process. And it may be an abstraction. not actual reality. Reality in the sense that can be touched, looked at objectively. Is it a series of structures put together by thought Because the self, the me, the egotistic action, is tearing the world apart. Perhaps we don't see that. That self identifies itself as a Jew, as a Hindu, as a Muslim, as a Christian, as a scientist, and so this, in the very nature of the self, its movement is to be isolated. Are we meeting together? Through complete negation, there is positive action. I wonder if you understand all this.
to negate. But we are afraid to negate, because we have identified ourselves with our body, the perpetual concern over the body, When I've tried ten thousand ways, when I've tried many, many ways to be free of this torture, this isolating process of the me, I don't know if you have tried it. Probably not. But to do it, demands tremendous alertness, watchfulness, attention. And in the self there is great pleasure. And is it ever possible to have no shadow of the self? which means no isolation. To have no sense of honest, absolute feeling that you are, there is no isolation. So is it possible to eliminate altogether the feeling of isolation. And that may be love. And that may be the one central factor that totally dissipates the self. But that word love is also such a misused word, being spat upon, it's made into such ugly things. I love my husband, but I fight with him. I love my wife, but I'm, I can't tolerate, I must have divorce. You know all that. I love my country, if I'm, ki- I'm ready to kill everybody else. I love God and I will torture anybody who doesn't believe in God. So the world is something very sacred. Not the world but the content, the depth and the beauty and the utter reality of it, that is sacred. 